I looked it up and Al Gore isn't a lawyer, so maybe he could be my um, EPA director, Environment, Environmental Protection Agency director, because it sure seems like he knows more about EPA type stuff than I do. Um, so I don't want Al Gore as my vice president, so maybe Elizabeth Warren could be my vice president, assuming that she doesn't know anything about this alleged conspiracy to blackmail Donald Trump that I think happened. Um, and then Al Gore can be my direct, in, be in charge of the EPA. And then, okay, so Robert Schiller from Yale, he teaches financial markets there. Um, I would want him as a, as a, as a top advisor to me because I kind of like it. I kind of like the way he thinks. Um, and then, um, Perry Merling, he teaches economics of money and banking. Um, so I, I'm thinking I, I, I might not have to have lobbyists. Uh, from the financial industry, but I feel like no matter what, if I'm picking Robert Schiller, he's from the financial industry, and Perry Merling, he's from the financial industry too, um, but he's a professor at Columbia. So those are two guys I'm, uh, that are on my short list to be advisors, and then, odd enough, um, William Underwood, he was the interim president of Baylor for two years, but he was a law professor, and he was the general counsel, counsel for Baylor. Um, I would maybe have him be my general counsel. Um, he's, he's, he's a professor of like, he's like, uh, he's the president of M Mercer University, I think right now. I don't even know what university that is. He, he's not a, um, Harvard guy. He's a university of Illinois guy. But, um, what I do know is that when I came to him at Baylor and I said that, that there was price gouging going on, um, he went after it. And, um, so he's the type of, I, I think that he has like that. He's a lawyer with some moral um, with, with, a, with, with, a, with, mo with morals. Um, um, but I know everyone's going, he's a conservative lawyer. Dude, it's not about like what, what, I mean, you guys need to get over the whole like conservative liberal thing because my campaign isn't about like conservative or liberal. I understand that like the democratic party is a cult, which you, you, you can't, if, if you're not with us, you're against us. And like, it's like, they will kick you out and they will, like, you will get banished if you don't follow them. If you don't follow Nancy Pelosi and uh, what I'm telling you is that's that's not the way that I am. Like, I do I know if Robert Schiller is a Democrat or a Republican? No. Do I know if Merling is a Democrat or Republican? I don't. Uh, what I do know is that guy knows a lot about banks. And he might, like, I'll bet I could get him drunk. <laughs> Didn't really get him to tell me the real secrets about Fed funds and all this, like, basically the money, like, the banks basically get free money from the government. That's That's, like, why is the American economy so still functional um it's because it's the, the banks get so much money from the government all right so um is the american economy that good right now is anybody else concerned about the american economy collapsing so we've had our pedal to the metal with the stock market for so long where we are like really 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 pushing it um and it's it's made our stock market boom to this point but can we have, have, have accelerated too fast for too long? It's kind of like, I want Tesla to um, have, have, I want Tesla to have hybrids or um, like plug-in hybrids that don't accelerate very fast. Like we have a governor that like slows your acceleration because I think it would be, um, it would make the, car, the, the fuel efficiency go longer. Similarly, um, a long time ago, I kept telling Barack Obama, you need to stop pushing the accelerator on the economy so much. <laughs> So would I actually pick Barack Obama for my vice president? As crazy as it sounds, after all the crap, <laughs> like, like the thing is, I'm the type of person that doesn't hold grudges. And um, if Barack Obama wasn't who uh, I think was involved with blackmailing Donald Trump, to, for specifically for like judicial appointments, like Brett Kavanaugh, um, would I would I pick him? I'd be down to pick him. Cause I, I need a lawyer <laughs> like, can it can, like, Oh, Oh, you're too racist to have a black lawyer. I, I don't think you understand. Like when I'm, I, I don't think that there's going to ever be a black Einstein, but I don't think that like there's a, I don't think that being a lawyer is the same thing as being Einstein. Obviously Barack Obama has been great at not following the constitution. Like and I kind of don't want to follow the constitution either. <laughs> That's the problem with once you become president. You're like, I don't want to follow the constitution. <laughs> would I ever follow the freaking constitution? But you, the problem is I actually do think we need to follow the constitution. Um, and so have I actually found my vice president? I don't know, but they're probably going to be pretty good at constitutional law and pretty good at Washington, DC. Um, Al Gore might actually be that good at Washington, DC, and he might have 
be like that involved that he could be the vice president even without a law degree because um, at some point hands-on experience matters um, but I don't know so those are those are my the people that I'm thinking about for advisor advisors obviously um, I feel like I'm I'm uh, I don't know the Sh Schiller seems like he's he's cooler Merling I, I don't really know I feel like he he could really tell me some stuff about banks which maybe he's more of like a advisor we can get get some drinks and he can tell me the secrets of um, the American baking industry. Um, I don't know. I, I don't feel like I know enough people to, to start choosing people, but what I am going to do is choose smart people that hopefully are not as, um, they've never worked as lobbyists. That's for sure. 